So in today's class, let me discuss solution to one dimensional wave equation. In the exam, you can expect this question like this. Discuss all possible solutions to the one dimensional wave equation. We know this is the standard form of the wave equation. Here u is the dependent variable, x and t are the independent variables. We will solve this equation by the method of separation of variables. This is what the method says. If since u is the dependent variable depends on x and t, we will assume that the solution of this difference, this equation will be in the form of capital X of x into capital T of t. That is, we are going to, we are assuming that we will find the solution of this differential equation in the form of a pure function of x multiplied to a pure function of t. Now, since this u satisfies the differential equation, let me substitute u in this equation. Now, if I find dou u by dou t, that gives capital X is constant now, dt by dt, and this is the ordinary differentiation because capital T depends on only one variable t, and we are differentiating with respect to that variable. Left hand side is partial differentiation because u depends on two variables and we are differentiating with respect to the single variable t in that case. Now if I just differentiate this again with respect to t, we will get dou square u by dou t square that is capital X into d square capital T by dt square. Now in the same lines, if I differentiate this two with respect to x, we get dou u by dou x that is equal to capital T into d capital X by dx differentiate again with respect to x that gives dou square u by dou x square is equal to d square x by dx square into capital T. Now substitute these two expressions back in equation number 1. Now capital X into d square t by dt square is my dou square u by dou t square. Substitute dou square u by dou x square in the left right hand side. Now we are dividing throughout by capital X into capital T. With that, we get 1 by t d square t by dt square equal to c square 1 by x d square x by dx square. You can have c square in the right hand side or you can have it in the left hand side. Doesn't make any difference. c square is just a constant for us. But have a look at these two expressions now. In equation number 3, LHS is purely depends on t. RHS purely depends on x. This is what I was talking about, method of separation of variables. Say in this case, we have the left hand side is purely depends on t and right hand side is purely depends on x and x and t are independent. So they are not depending on each other. As a result, this equation holds good only when these two expressions are equated to the same real constant lambda. So 1 by c square capital T d square t by dt square is equal to lambda and this one is also equal to lambda. If I take c square capital T to the right hand side here and capital X to the right hand side here, if I take it to the left hand side, you can note that these two are ordinary differential equations. So what we have done here, by this method, we have converted the given partial differential equation into two ordinary differential equations. By solving them, we can find capital X and capital T and you can use them in this equation number two to have our solution for the given partial differential equation. Now, we, I said that lambda is a real constant. If that is the case, lambda has got three choices. The one possibility is lambda is zero. Second possibility is lambda is a positive real constant. And third possibility is lambda is a negative real constant. Suppose if I consider the case number 1, that is if I take lambda is equal to 0, in that case, have a look at this one. This is d square t by dt square is equal to 0. What you can note, this is homogeneous second order linear differential equation. We spent our module 2 on this. In module 2, we learned how do we solve, the, how do we find the complementary function or how to find solution of homogeneous equations. What should be done here? Put it in the standard form. By taking d by dt is equal to capital D, this becomes d square capital T equal to 
0. Write the auxiliary equation that is m square equal to 0. Find the roots 0 and 0. We know that if the roots are real and equal, in that case our solution is what c1 plus c2 independent variable. What is the independent variable in this case? t. t times e power 0 t. e power 0 t becomes 1. So this is what my solution for this differential equation. Now consider the equation number 5. Put lambda equal to 0 in it. So it gives the same expression. d square capital X by dx square is equal to 0. In the same lens you are solving this. Here also the roots are real and equal and they are zeros. So we are expecting the same linear function but it should be in terms of the independent variable x for us. I know capital X, capital T substitute in this that gives the general solution of this equation with respect to lambda equal to 0. Okay. Now let me move on to case number 2 that is lambda is a positive real constant. Let the positive real constant be k square. So if I put lambda equal to k square in it, so this gives d square capital T by dt square equal to k square c square t. Take this to the left hand side and take d by dt is equal to capital D and that will give d square minus k square c square capital T equal to 0. Write the auxiliary equation that is m square minus k square c square is equal to 0. Find the roots m equal to plus r minus kc roots are real and distinct m1 and m2 are the roots so what is my solution is capital t equal to some arbitrary constant into e power m1 t plus arbitrary constant into e power m2 t m1 is plus kc m2 is minus kc that is what i have substituted in this now if i just substitute lambda equal to k square in the second equation that's in equation number five we get this expression and you can note this is once again a second order homogeneous differential equation. In the same lines you can solve this that gives the auxiliary equation m square minus k square is equal to 0 that gives m equal to plus r minus k. You can note that in the place of kc I am finding k the roots are once again real and equal. What I will get here it should be constant into e power kx plus constant into e power minus kx that is what I am supposed to get. Okay. Now I know what is capital X, capital T, substitute in this that will give us the general solution corresponds to the case lambda is a positive constant. Now let us consider the third case. Lambda is a negative constant, say it is minus k square. So if that is the case, this equation becomes here minus k square is taken. It works exactly similar to the previous one, but roots are complex in this case. The real part is 0, A is 0 in this case, B is given by Kc. So my solution is what? E power Ax. So A is 0, so it is E power 0x that becomes 1. C9, some arbitrary constant into cos Bx, x is t in this case, should be cos Bt, B is Kc. Plus C10, that is an arbitrary constant into sin Bt, B is Kc again. Now if I consider the second case, that is in equation number 5, so that will be t square x by dx square is equal to minus k square capital X. Now find the auxiliary equation, that is m square plus k square is equal to 0, roots are plus r minus i k, which is exactly similar to this. Only thing is in the place of kc I am finding k. So my solution should be what? It is kx, kx in this case. So capital X is C11 cos Kx plus C12 sin Kx. We have know what is capital D, capital X substitute in this equation. So that gives us the solution corresponds to the case where lambda is a negative real constant. Now this is how we are solving the one dimensional wave equation by using method of separation of variables. Let me just revise what we did here. First, we assume that since u is a function of x and t, we are assuming that we will find the solution in the form of capital X into capital T. From this one, we found dou square u by dou t square, dou square u by dou x square, substituted in this equation number 1. 
and afterwards we divide it throughout by capital X into capital T to have the left hand side is purely function of T and the right hand side is purely function of X. So this is possible only when these two are individually equal to, to the same real constant lambda. So with this we will get two ordinary differential equations in terms of capital X and capital T. By solving this equation we can find capital X, by solving this equation we will get capital T and by substituting here we can write our general solution for the equation. And I am supposed to consider the three cases lambda equal to 0, lambda is positive constant, lambda is negative real constant. I hope you people are comfortable with the method and the solution what we found for the one dimensional wave equation. In the same lines you can find or you can discuss all possible solutions to one dimensional heat equation. I hope you people are comfortable with this and you will try that one from your side. So please try the heat equation and if you get any doubts let me know. Please come back we will discuss that. Otherwise 